we got the first Canon power zoom lens in November, or at least it was announced in November. The Canon RF 24-105 f2.8 L image stabilized USMZ. It offers quasi parfocal zooming, silent focusing with a constant f2.8 aperture, but at $29.99, it's not for everyone. The RF 24-105 is the first in a new line of lenses, noted with the Z signifying that this lens works with the new power zoom adapter, aimed to provide cinematic zooms. Canon has two versions of the adapter, one for $9.99 and one for $12.99, but neither one has shipped yet. In this video, I'm going to talk about three other power zoom lenses expected here in 2024. I'm also going to talk about what does the Z signify on this lens? What does power zoom mean? What is quasi parfocal zooming and breathing compensation? And why do they matter? But first, let's take a look at what we can expect to see in 2024. Canon Rumor says that the RF 70 to 200 mm f2.8 internal zoom is next in line with a time frame of four to six months. But this is only one of four power zoom lenses to be announced in 2024. And the story from Canon Rumors is rated as a CR3, meaning it comes from very reliable and trustworthy sources. And while not considered fact, it's pretty close to it. And that would make a total of four power zoom lenses by the end of 2024. And like the RF 24 to 105 f2.8, the internal zoom RF 70 to 200 won't be cheap either. So the Canon RF 70 to 200 will be our second power zoom lens to be delivered in 2024. And it's the one we expect to come out next. It's not going to be cheap, but the rest of the power zoom lenses to be announced in 2024 are going to be, well, quite a bit more affordable, including some, well, APS-C lenses. And that will allow the rest of us to be able to afford lenses with near silent zooming, with quasi parfocal zooming and breathing compensation. So the remaining two lenses, well, one of them is going to be an L series, and it's going to be a full frame wide angle zoom lens, as well as, and this is the affordable one that I was just telling you about, an RFS version of the EFS 17 to 55 millimeter F2.8 USM. While no pricing has been provided, I think it's pretty safe to say that the RFS version of the EFS 17 to 55 millimeter is definitely going to cost under $1,000. After all, the EFS 17 to 55 millimeter sells for under $900 today. But Canon Rumors also speculated on the possibility of the RFS 15 to 60 millimeter f2.8 image stabilized USMZ. All previous rumors talking about power zoom lenses coming in 2024 have talked about four lenses, either that we would be getting a total of four coming in 2024, or by the end of 2024, we would have a total of four power zoom lenses. Now, all of the rumors at this point have talked about having a single RFS lens, not two. And while Canon Rumors does mention two lenses, what is it, the, uh, the 15 to 60 millimeter and the 17 to 55 millimeter, we think it's safe to say, at least at this point, that we'll probably get just one. And, ag and again, this is a CR3, but even Canon Rumors isn't 100% sure as to which lens for RFS is actually going to drop. So we'll have to stay tuned. Subscribe and follow me on X if you want to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest, at least when it comes to power zoom lenses coming to the Canon platform. So what does this mean for photographers and videographers? Is this just hype or does one need to get the power zoom adapter to get the best value and capabilities out of these power zoom lenses? No, these power zoom lenses aren't just hype, but they are geared a little bit more towards videographers with quasi parfocal zooming, breathing or focus breathing compensation and near silent focusing. And of course, we've got that, well, aperture ring that only works in video mode. But power zoom lenses don't alienate photographers. Photographers still love the 24 to 105, specifically for that f2.8 constant aperture across the entire focal range. But most photographers could really care less about the power zoom capabilities, unless, of course, they're also video shooters. Parfocal zooming is the ability to move through the entire focal range while the object stays in focus. And this 
is a key capability of cinema cameras that are used in television and movie production. Another benefit of the cinema lenses, other than just parfocal zooming, is the lack of focus breathing. Not sure what focus breathing is? Well, the video on the right exhibits focus breathing. Focus breathing is where the field of view changes when you're focusing. The Canon RF 24-105 f2.8 isn't an optical parfocal lens, but electronic, providing us near or quasi-parfocal zooming, the outcome that simulates that parfocal zooming and uses focus breathing compensation to reduce the effects of focus breathing. So while these power zoom lenses aren't true cinema lenses, providing an optical design to deliver parfocal zooming and, well, the elimination of focus breathing, they are using electronic means or computational means to deliver the same results for a fraction of the price. Near silent autofocus means that the camera or any attached mic, a shotgun mic for example, won't pick up any focus motor sounds. Some modern Canon lenses such as this 24-105 f4 image stabilized USM lens and L series lens actually does provide near silent operation, but there's no real documentation on the lens. There's no specification calling it out. Whereas the much more expensive Canon RF 50mm f1.2, the lens I'm filming with right now, it's quite loud, it rendering the onboard mic or any sort of attached shotgun mic pretty much useless, as it sounds like a squirrel chewing on a nut. One other nice feature of these power zoom lenses, or at least the 24-105, is that aperture ring, allowing videographers to change the aperture, but this only works in video mode. Sorry, photographers. I hope this video provided you with the information you were looking for on what lenses we can expect from Canon that are power zoom lenses here in 2024, and also an explanation of what parfocal zooming is, breathing compensation, and why near silent operation of lenses matters. If you do have any other further questions, then go ahead and post them in the comments section down below, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. And if you want to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest when it comes to new lenses coming in 2024, such as those new power zoom lenses, then please go ahead and subscribe and also follow me on X. And if you're looking at purchasing new camera gear, lenses, and accessories from BH, Adorama, or Amazon.com, then please consider using my affiliate links, these guys right here. I do have them in the description down below. It really does help this channel grow. It helps fund this channel because I get anywhere from 2 to 12% back from any purchase. And the good news is to you, it doesn't cost you anything extra. You just have to use these links, and that's it. So here we are on Tuesday. We've already got a pretty interesting week. We had a lot of discussion over the weekend about Sigma and the, the discussions that Canon was in with Sigma and other companies and that they're pretty close, well, they're at least halfway through the negotiations or a little more than halfway through the, the negotiations. So hopefully as we start to move a little bit further here into March, more leaks and more information will come out. I think things are starting to get a little bit busy and I'm pretty excited by what might come here in 2024. Could we have a GH7, a new Sony camera, a new vlogging camera, a new FX camera? The Nikon Z6 Mark III, we know we're getting the Canon EOS R5 Mark II and the Canon EOS R1, although some people are expecting this to happen in 2025. I certainly don't. The R1 is definitely coming this year, as is the R5 Mark II. The only question is, when can you and me have these cameras in our hands? As well as a whole slew of other lenses that are supposed to be coming out this year as well. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on X. But that's it for now. Have yourself a great week, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.